Hey, I'm Rocky, we're R5, and I play guitar. I'm Rydell, and I play keys. Rydell, he is real! I'm Ross, I play rhythm guitar lead singer. I'm Ratliff from R5, and I play drums. Hey, I'm Riker, and we're R5. You're watching Young Hollywood Backstage Diaries. Um, performing at the Artie Maze is just overall exciting, I think. We love performing anywhere and everywhere. And then running into the fans is always great, you know, talking up a storm. And meeting new people as well, musicians that you may have a new song out that you want to talk to or anything like that. Uh, hyping up the crowd. I think you just kind of, like, want to come out with a bang. That's, that's something we always try to do is create, like, a really, really big intro. Also just being, like, getting them to sing or saying weird things like, can I get a yeah, and everybody goes yeah, and then he'll be like, can I get Riker sexy, and everybody screams Riker sexy, so it's, you know, some different things like that. We write songs different ways all the time. Yesterday, actually, we were um, driving to rehearsals, and I pull out my laptop and I plug in a little auxiliary cord to Riker's car stereo, and I'm like, you know, running a little uh, music program, and we're like making beats and writing lyrics and stuff, just in the car, um, but usually, it's just kind of, you know, you go into the studio, someone has like an idea of like a lyric or a melody and we all just kind of start writing and throwing out ideas. Playing in a more intimate crowd and playing in like a bigger space like a, an arena, for instance, are very, very different. One is that um, to capture the whole crowd in a smaller area is way easier because, you know, everyone's close and really like feeling the music. In a big arena, you have to reach the people like hundreds of feet away from you and it's just way different. Our band mantra is a Ready, Set, Rock, which is the first song we ever wrote. And it kind of became an inside joke because um, our like one of our first ever shows, our band coach was like, all right, everyone, let's go. You guys are going to be great, blah, blah, blah. And he was like, uh, on three, say, uh, Ready, Set, Rock. And we were like, ah, that's hilarious, Ready, Set, Rock. And it's stuck and we've done it before every show. Longs to get ready in the band. I would say Ratliff, but... I take the longest to get ready, but that's just because I'm a girl, so I have an excuse. I have more things to do. and But out of the guys, definitely Ratliff, because he's just slow, kind of, and he'll, like, watch some vines, and then he'll, like, oh, and then he'll go brush his teeth, and then he'll maybe go to the bathroom for, like, a half hour, and then he'll, and then he'll, like, oh, okay, now I'll get in the shower. Wait, but let me watch a few more vines first, so. If we won a Grammy, the first person I would think, maybe the rest of the band. Has anyone ever done that before? I'd thank these guys, probably. We're on it together. We're on this journey together, and, and I think that without them, it wouldn't be as pleasant or fun. So I'd probably thank them first. Young Hollywood, thanks for watching our Backstage Diaries. We hope you enjoyed it. See ya. Peace. Bye.